Hi friends, welcome to Upper Studies YouTube channel. This is part 49 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about user input in Python. That means how to take input from the user in Python programming language. So in Python, there is some useful function called input, which will actually help you to take the input from the uh, user when he actually runs the program. In Python 3.6 or above, we can see this input function to do this task. If it is Python 2.7, then there the function name is called like raw input. Okay, so if you see any old code, so you may be observing this line of code like raw input that will actually ask user to give the input. If all this is not making sense at this moment, let me practically explain this. Let me go to Visual Studio Code here. So here, firstly, let me make sure what version of the Python I have. So for that, uh, I can execute this Python hyphen hyphen version command. So this command is going to give me what is the version of the Python in my system. So I have Python 3.9.7. So I am good to use input function as I have explained here. So let me practically show you this with, with, with an example. Let's say I have a variable called first name and for the first name variable, I am supplying value called shake. And then let's say I have another variable called maybe last name. Okay. So in the last name variable, I am supplying value called Mahir. Okay. So now if you closely observe here, I am hard coding the data into this variable and below maybe I am printing my full name. So I am printing like this. Uh, let me use this string format. So your full name is then uh, space after space. I want to print here first name first. Let's assume so first name. Then after first name, I want to have another space here. Okay. And then I want to have my last name. Okay. So last name, right? Last underscore name. So let me save these changes here. If you closely observe the program here, what I am doing is I am taking two variables and data, hard coded data in it and then printing my full name. So let me save these changes. And if I execute this code, then you will be seeing it printed. Your full name is Sheikh Mahir. That is fine. But here the data is hard coded. What if, if I want to make sure my Python code to ask me to enter the first name and enter the last name during the execution. So is it possible to do that? If yes, how to do that? So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So for that, there is some useful function called input, as I said. So here, what I can say, I can show like uh, enter your first name. So I can show this message so that user will know what he has to enter. And then for the last name variable, I can do the same thing. So let me copy this input function here. And let me paste it here and here I can say enter your last name. So let me save these changes. Now if I execute this code, see it will ask you to enter your first name. So maybe I can enter here. Sheikh is my first name and enter the last name. So maybe Mahir is my last name. The moment I hit enter, the moment the execution comes to this print statement, it printed your full name is Sheikh Mahir, right? So the moment the execution came to this input function, it, it paused the execution there and it asked me to enter my input. So, so that's how it works. Let me re-execute this program once again. And this time my first name is like maybe Pradeep. Okay. And then last name is maybe like Chikatla. See, it is still working. So this input function is very helpful when you want to take input from the users in middle of your programming execution. So that is what I have written in the presentation also. So Python function actually execution will get stopped when it comes to the input function and it will continue the moment user in given the input. Okay. So that's it in this video. Uh, I hope uh, you got an idea how to use this input function to take the user inputs. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.